It's costing tens of millions of pounds of public money and should have opened last year. But photographs obtained by BBC Wales appear to show serious problems with the ongoing construction of the Pontiac Arts Centre at Bangor University. Well, our arts and media correspondent Hugh Thomas is in Bangor for us this evening. Hugh. Yes, Lucy, they started building on this site around three years ago now, and you get the sense today that it is starting to take shape, perhaps nearing completion. It was, of course, supposed to open last autumn, and tonight, for the first time, we get something of an explanation, perhaps, as to why this project has gone so far behind schedule and over budget. Pontior promises to be an iconic building and a world-class cultural facility for North Wales. But inside there appear to be serious problems. Photos show concrete floors being broken up and brand new walls and ceilings ripped out because water is leaking into the building. Life on site has been documented by a workman. We've kept his identity anonymous. There was a lot of water coming down. Basically, the building isn't watertight, as you'd have imagined it should be, and they were putting floors down while there were still leaks. So the floors have been replaced who knows how many times. They've got these tiles they use and they expand if water gets into them. They've been replaced lots of times because of the leaks. They get water damage, and there's plasterers mixing their plaster on top of it and spilling the water. It's just it's a mess, to be honest. As well as the water, the workman claims the new building has been damaged by the rush to try and finish the job. You get sent to do something in the morning and then halfway through the day you get pulled away to do something else. So boards are going up, ceilings are going up, without even asking the electricians or the plumbers if they finish in the roof. They then have to cut holes in to bring their cables through. The construction company Galliford Try says the challenges it's faced in building Pontia aren't out of the ordinary for a project like this and it's committed to delivering a high quality building. Bangor University said it's monitoring quality on a regular basis. Building work began here three years ago with a £40 million budget. By January last year, it was taking shape. The opera star Bryn Terwell toured the site where the main auditorium will be named after him. But by the autumn, the budget had jumped and the schedule slipped. The opening gala concert in October was cancelled and all other shows were either scrapped or moved to other venues while the building work continued. The big budget for Pontia is being met by public funds from Europe, the Welsh Government and the Arts Council of Wales and there are contributions from Bangor University and private sponsors. So there's huge pressure on the construction company to fix those problems, finish the job and open the doors. I think it's not about learning from the past, it's actually moving forward with this to deliver a prestigious build within Bangor. It is about those people sitting down that I've already mentioned in terms of the design team, the client and, and the construction contractor. But more importantly, perhaps have an external facilitator who can pull a plan together that reasonably brings this back online and within budget. Behind schedule and over budget, there's still no official date for the opening of Wales's newest arts and innovation centre. So the construction company emphasising tonight that they won't compromise on the high quality finish of the Pontior building inside and out. And with that in mind, there is still no fixed published public date for when the doors will finally open. But both the university and the construction company hoping that the next time the cameras are here or when the curtain finally rises on the new Pontior Arts Centre. Hugh, thank you very much.